The Secret closes out Season 2 of Tales from the Crypt with a bloody twist. Directed by J. Michael Riva, written by Doug Ronning, and shot by Elliot Davis. Based on a story from The Haunt of Fear number 24, the last episode of the season offers us a tale of childhood loneliness that gets the emotions stirring, only to literally tear us apart at the end. Late in the night, an orphan named Theodore sneaks downstairs to eavesdrop on Miss Heather and Miss Graves, the two heads of the orphanage. The show's version of Theodore makes a stop at the fridge first, before getting the two ladies in his sight. The two women talk amongst themselves about Theodore. He is almost 13 years old, and the orphanage needs to find him a home soon, as they won't be able to handle him any longer. Nobody wants to adopt him, and they allude to some kind of secret about the child. We've got to do something about Theodore. He's well past the desirable age for placement. Most adoptive parents are looking for some cute little toddler. What happened to his real parents? You must never, ever mention his real parents. Do I make myself clear? Or his behavior problems? Yes, ma'am. Theodore retreats to his room. He has no idea what secret Heather and Graves know about him, but he likes to pretend that he has secret real parents who will one day come back for him. Theodore tells us about how his caretakers lock him in his room whenever he complains, like when he asks for more food. After all, he is older than the other kids. The show's Theodore gets caught sneaking downstairs and is escorted back to his room to be locked inside. There are many nights when he sneaks out of his room just to run away for a little while. His caretakers always hope he'll stay gone, but they know adoption is the only way they will ever be rid of him. The morning after one of his night adventures, Theodore's caretakers introduce him to Mr. and Mrs. Colbert, who are interested in adopting him. In the comic, they are the stereotypical 1950s couple, but in the show, they are much snootier. Theodore doesn't want to go home with them, until his caretaker has a stern word with him. Knowing he may not get another chance to find out, he asks her what the secret about him is. He wants answers, but she denies knowing anything. Where are my real parents, Miss Hagstead? Your real parents? Oh, Theodore. Theodore, they, they, they were killed when you were just a little baby. How did they die? Well, I, the details on it. The secret is all Theodore can think about as his new parents drive him to his new home. In the show, Theodore waves goodbye to the other orphans as he's taken away. They arrive, and the comics Theodore doesn't like how isolated the house is from the rest of the world. But the show's Theodore is astonished by how much space there is. Too bad the dog doesn't like him. He's shown to his room where he's immediately locked in, just like at the orphanage. Even the windows have bars on them to prevent him from escaping. His adoptive parents explain to him the reason why is a secret that he will find out someday. At least in the comic. In the episode, they give him the cold shoulder. We've waited so long. Mrs. Colbert, why have you locked the door? Mr. Colbert? Mr. Colbert? His new mom fixes him a big dinner, which he isn't hungry for, but finishes anyway to avoid offending her. His less hands-on parents from the show just let Tobias, their butler, take care of all the feeding. Breakfast, young sir. Wow! I'll be serving all your meals while the Colberts are away at work. If there's anything I can get for you, please let me know. My name is Tobias. Thank you, Tobias. May I have a glass of milk? How about a milkshake? I think I'm gonna like it here. Tobias is played by none other than the late, great Larry Drake, and he's there to give Theodore whatever he wants. Theodore loves all the food and being waited on, at first, but he becomes bored with the luxury. Theodore is kept locked in his room, with Mrs. Colbert bringing him food every few hours. Lots of food. More than he can eat sometimes. But she insists that he finishes every bite. She wants him to get big and strong. Theodore wouldn't mind so much if he was allowed to go outside, but it's still a secret as to why he's kept in his room, a secret that he will know soon enough. 
The snooty Colberts use their work as an excuse to dodge Theodore's questions and his longing for a connection with his new family. Yet they too have a secret waiting to be shared with young Theodore. Quite a lovely idea, Theodore. Unfortunately, Mr. Colbert and I have to work tomorrow. But we're in the midst of planning something very special for you, Theodore. Very special. Really? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, it's a secret. When? You don't want us to spoil the secret, do you? I hate secrets. Meanwhile, the food keeps coming, and the Colberts burst in with a birthday surprise for him, despite it not actually being his birthday. They leave him alone to open his presents. In need of a true parental figure, Theodore strikes up a small friendship with Tobias and learns that he too was an orphan. A month has passed, and Theodore hears his adoptive parents outside his door. They are ready to tell him the secret, but he has already figured it out. His new parents are vampires, and they are ready to feed upon him. Only in a sudden twist of events, it turns out that Theodore's secret isn't the same as the Colbert's. Theodore is actually a werewolf. This is why he would run away at night, to eat. And now it is Theodore who tears his vampire parents to shreds. Things go down a little differently in the show. Tobias wakes up Theodore in the middle of the night. He's taking him away from this house. However, Mrs. Colbert is waiting for them. Tobias is having some disagreements with his vampiric employers. We made a deal, Tobias. You ask for immortality. Tonight we give it to you. Not bad compensation for a little babysitting job. Tobias, don't you want everlasting life? <sighs> everlasting life? I can't imagine anything more tedious and boring. You quit. I take it. He doesn't last long. Theodore runs outside into the dead of night, the Colbert's dog hot on his tail. As goofy and cliche as their vampire outfits are, the Colbert's leaping into the air in slow motion is kind of creepy. They catch up to their prey, who appears out of breath, but he's realized what his secret is. I have a secret too, Mrs. Colbert. I'm sure you have to. And mine is better than yours. I am a werewolf. And I have an appetite for vampire. Unlike the comic book, we get to see this werewolf in all of its vicious glory. In a brief epilogue, Theodore returns to the orphanage with the Colbert's dog by his side. Now that he knows his secret, he intends to make a few changes around the home. Featuring our youngest protagonist yet, The Secret is a wonderful way to end the second season of Tales from the Crypt. The comic is good, but the extra time allotted to the TV show isn't wasted. Theodore is given a deeper arc, being enamored with his new surroundings at first, to slowly feeling more empty in his new home than at the orphanage. The distant adoptive parents in the show add a sense of something being wrong in the background. I love Larry Drake as Tobias as he offers us some hope at the end, only to be vanquished by the monsters. And the name of the orphanage was an amusing nod to Bill Gaines, publisher of EC Comics. Directed by J. Michael Riva, credited here as Michael Riva, one of the great production designers in film history, and he wasn't afraid to give us something new to look at. The Colbert property feels massive, despite us being locked away with Theodore most of the time. The night scenes are obviously day footage tinted blue, and it actually hurts my eyes in some scenes, but the look does make for an eerie effect during the werewolf versus vampires climax. I can't keep this story a secret. Feast your eyes on this episode. <laughs>